Magentic One, a generalist multi AI agent framework created by Microsoft. Now you can use with Olama. Magentic One agents includes web surfer agent, file surfer agent, coder agent, computer terminal agent, and they all have access to different tools. Across various benchmark, using this generalist agent, the accuracy is comparatively higher when compared to using GPT-4 on its own. The orchestrator agent is able to get the task, create subtasks, assign those tasks to other agents and get the work done even though the task is complex. It also has the capability to browse the web, click on icons, as you can see here, it's clicking icons to complete the task. So I'm going to take you through step by step how you can install this, configure Magentic One agents with Olama and then run it. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Step one, install. First, install Docker on your computer. Then install UV package manager using this command. Just copy it and then paste it in your terminal and then click enter to install it. Next, go to olama.com and download olama. And finally, go to Bing Web Search API and create an API key. I have already added Olama to Magentic One and asked to get merged to Autogen. So hopefully it'll get approved soon. But before that, I'm going to clone from my own repo. So this might change in the future. So git clone this URL and then click enter. Next, navigate to Autogen slash Python folder. There we are going to use UV to install all the required packages. Once after it gets installed, just source.env slash bin.activate. Then navigate to packages autogen magentic one. Here pip install hyphen e dot and then click enter. Now this will install all the required packages. I have clearly explained step by step in my blog post. Includes installing all the packages and the steps involved. Step two, configure. Export your Bing API key like this and then click enter. Now you need to type olama pull llama 3.2 hyphen vision to download the vision language model. Now it got installed. Now we need to set the chat completion provider to Olama by typing like this and then click enter. Similarly, we need to add our chat completion keyword arguments in JSON format, providing the model name and the base URL. This is the Olama base URL. After this, click enter. Now configuration step is complete. Step three, running the application. Just type Python example, this whole command and then click enter. Now it's asking me to enter the task. So I'm going to say, get the stock price of Apple using Y Finance and give me the percentage change. Now it's processing the request. You can also monitor this in the My Logs folder. There you can see the screenshots being taken. Here's the next screenshot. The web surfer agent tried to get the information, but it was not able to fetch those information. So now it goes to the coder agent and the coder agent is writing the code. Seems like the orchestrator didn't run the code, but it's hallucinating with these values. This could be because Llama 3.2 is not as effective in regards to function calling. And we use the 11 billion parameter model. Maybe if I try 90 billion parameter model, this should have worked. Finally, we managed to make it work with Olama. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.